and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello right, everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today I'm going to be going over the cheapest ways or the best ways to get candy. Kind of the free ways to get candy. What should you be using it on as well as is it worth it so far? Like what is the overall consensus on it? I'm going to be going over everything so stay tuned to the end of this video to hear everything I got to say. Now guys, candy so far has been kind of an enigma. It's been kind of confusing for a lot of people only because we really don't know as far as like the store offers. So the weird thing about these store offers is that from what I've been told is that you can only get certain eggs out of certain offers, which makes it a lot harder to really know like what you're doing. So you might think, right? So I was thinking this when it first came out, it's like, it's like a Christmas again. With the grand egg, like why open all of these when I could just guarantee myself one of the greatest rewards? Then you might say, let me open up the random eggs because they're cheaper and I'll probably pull a grand egg. That is not the case. Grand eggs are super rare to pull. And quite honestly, you're better off just buying one from here. But here's the catch. You can't pull all of the grand eggs from the grand egg thing, which is what I've heard. It's that some of like you can pull, I said there's like the base four. You can pull all the four from there. Those are like the base egg grand eggs. And there's like these super rare grand eggs that you can only get from the random egg pack apparently. And some people like Marksman on Twitter has shown that like he spent like, I think he bought like 570 uh, grand egg ones and he only pulled one of the super rare ones like one time. Like it, it is that rare guys. So I, we really don't know exactly like if there's like another four like I'm saying that are so ridiculously rare that the only way to get them is by just opening a ton and what could those be? What could be so rare that you have to spend millions of coins worth to get? We don't know. Is it worth it? It's very, it's very confusing guys. Before we get into the rest of this video, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on to go boys, come join the family, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always, and comment down below if you guys have any other things to add on, what have you guys figured out, what are your pull rates, what eggs have you guys pulled, but let's head over, I'm going to show you guys what I've been buying for candy, as you guys do know, I did do an egg pack opening, and as far as the egg pack opening goes, I only got large eggs, I didn't get anything too crazy, I'll show you guys what I got in my binder just after this, but these are the values I've been using, now is it the best value, I know it's pretty darn close to it if it is not, I've been just getting these. It's a very simple way to get them. I'm getting these 93s right here for like 60k. I like to get them for around like 60 to 65k. They're getting they're going a little bit up. People are probably buying a lot of them for candy as it is. Now, guys, just so you guys know, you cannot buy the 98 masters for candy. Those are training. So do not go buy one because then you're gonna have to instantly resell it and lose like 30 to 40k on reduction, which I did on accident, not knowing that. Because when the promo first came out, I wanted candy, so I just bought one real quick. Little did I know that wasn't what you did. But I do have some eggs now. But I recommend just buying these. These go for about like, I think it was like I don't know the exact value, but I do know if you buy like every, every one's like, I think like two random egg packs. I mean, it, it, guys, it's not the best. It's not the best values. Like it's a good value in terms of candy, but in terms of what you spend on, you can go through 300 K and only get like 10 eggs. Like it's pretty ridiculous how this works. I think candy's very, very overrated right now. But the thing is, we don't know the reward, so I can't even call it overrated just yet, but it feels like it. Like Christmas presents, like last year, Christmas presents random, were like 170 not bad these are 3300 like it's like 30k a pack and you, and you pull so many of these so like you're just losing coins on coins so you have to pull the grand eggs and like i said the grand eggs i did uh i did like 15 to 20 but i didn't pull a single grand egg so i don't really know the best like is it worth it just yet now here are the eggs that i pulled overall if you guys go over to my newest and i'm gonna show you guys what i got in my binder i got a grand egg but i didn't pull this i ended up quick selling two of the large i pulled and did the grand egg set I got a grand egg, a small egg, a medium, small, 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 medium. So I essentially pulled, let's see, eight bad ones. And then I pulled another uh, two large ones that were decent. And then I, I, changed, I exchanged it in for a grand egg. Now, just to show you guys right here, this was like 300K worth. Like this was 300K worth of eggs that I spent. 300K worth of eggs. That's what I had to spend for that. Was it worth it? I'm not entirely sure if it was. Now, if you guys want to get some free candy, as you guys know, you can just head on over to challenges. Go over and try to get as much free as you can. There's not much though. They didn't really give us much free candy. So you can do the Color Smash Jamboree. I don't even know if you get candy from these. I think you get the word scramble from here. As you see from here though, it says these challenge over right here. Uh, when you find your Easter egg for the day, you earn some candy currency. So you can do the hidden challenges every single day for a chance of like 2,000 candy, but that's still barely one free. And then you gotta go over to Color Smash and you go ahead and you get this 1,000 candy for free. And then the 96 Nats. I don't know if those sell for candy. That might just be for trading. But as you guys wrap that up, you could, maybe like per day, you can almost get one random egg, which isn't horrible. And then play these for another 4,000 and then play that for probably another 4,000. In total, you can probably get like five to seven free eggs if you do everything. The daily egg hunt, the solo challenges. And by free, I mean, you know, the, the random eggs you have to do. 
So as far as the Grand Eggs go, there's some really rare ones, but we don't know what they're gonna be. People say that two of them are gonna be the Barry Sanders and the Ed Reed because it's the same colors. It's like a purple, which is the Ravens, and then a blue, which is the Lions. But overall, as far as the best ways to get them, like I said, you gotta do the solos and then you gotta go on ahead and go just get the best values off the auction block. And even then they're overrated right now because people are doing it. So obviously the prices are higher than they should be. And just to go into all that, is it worth it so far? Like, what is my, what is the consensus so far in the community? People, like, people are thinking like the gold one that I have could be an Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. So, to do the math, an Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack would be worth about 180,000 coins, which I already think is overpriced. So I don't think it's like too exciting that I got one, even if I did. They're saying that's an Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. So let's say that it is an Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. That cost me 22,000, uh, which 22,000 I believe is like 180k. It's, it's like 180k. So I, I essentially got back exactly what I got. So for the way for some of these grand eggs potentially to be worth it, like the base ones you can get, for it to be worth it, you're going to have to probably go ahead and do the random eggs. You're going to have to pull them here. So let's say you do like 10 of these and you pull a grand egg and a bunch of larges where you, when you, when you break everything down, you probably by ratio got a grand egg for only like 17,000 if you, if you get lucky. So in that rate, then you made some coins. But in this, in this particular case, I think I overspent for an ultimate legend pack. So you'd have to pull one of the super rare ones, but am I, do I, would you guys want to break bank doing it? I don't know. Overall, the Color Smash promo, what do we think of it? In my opinion, my overall breakdown on the Color Smash promo to rate it. The solos are ass. I don't think the solos are that great. The egg hunt's okay. I don't think that's great. The reward was only a free 96. I would have preferred maybe like, I don't think the masters are great. That, I mean, the masters are great. I don't think the set masters, like the set pieces were great. See, in other promos, I actually want one of those high pieces. In this one, not exactly. I think that you really only just want the masters. So I don't think the solos were great. There's no house rules yet for this, which there should be. At least a house rules for candy or something, even if they're not gonna give us players. Now the the, uh, the letter hunt's kind of cool. The letter hunt's not bad. I don't mind that personally. The letter hunt's decent. That's decent right there. That's a decent offer, 350 candy for an 87 overall player. Especially like for, for budget teams, these aren't bad at all. I mean, you get a decent amount of stuff back. But overall, the color smash promo minus Ed Reed and Barry Sanders, I don't think it was that great because the eggs are just too expensive for people to participate in that that's my issue i hate when only like a select few like only like the guys who are rich in madden can participate in this like guys with 10 million coins 5 million coins see like people with only think about it i went through 300 000 coins in a 10 minute video and not to mention i finished that in about six and i was taking my time i could go through 3,000 coins in five minutes pull a few small eggs and for most people guys 300k could be all you had that could be everything you saved so that means that you can't participate. People with only a million coins probably shouldn't participate if they're saving that. I do it for the content, but overall, I don't think it's that worth it. Now, could you pull one of the best ones? Yes, one of you guys will pull one of the best Grand Eggs. But let's say even if it is Barry Sanders, that's still only 300K. So if I pulled the best Grand Egg and I pulled Barry Sanders, what, I made back my coins? Like, I don't really, I don't know. The only way for this to be worth it, if they, if they announced that one of those golden Grand Eggs were golden tickets, people would go in. That would be one of the ways to do it. But I don't think they're gonna go ahead and actually take that route, which it does kind of suck because that would be cool if they added that, like a free golden ticket, one of the first drops. But overall, guys, is it worth it? Like, is the promo, like my rating on the promo overall, I'd give this promo like a seven out of 10, maybe six out of 10. I really wasn't a fan, minus Ed Reed and Barry Sanders. I think the egg hunt so far has been decent. I don't, in my in my opinion, I don't like the fact that let's pick these. I think a way to make this more fun, you get rid of all these. You get rid of all four of those. You only make it random egg packs. You, you cause like you, you lose the rarity. First off, why give us a random grand egg set that can't get you all the random grand eggs? First, why introduce a random egg set when you can guarantee yourself what you can get? I obviously you can make all this does is gamble people's money away because people want to do that one instead and then you end up getting like i did i spent thirty-eight thousand on these didn't pull a single one of these i could have just bought one of these and bought two of these i would be much better off that way but the fact the fact of the matter is that they did do it like that and i think like in past years like a presence like i like the way presents were last year but presents this year same thing you can just pick what you want wasn't a fan of that but guys it still is kind of fun it's not bad what i recommend you guys spend your money on the on the eggs personally some of you guys are going to go ahead and you are going to pull one of the best grand eggs you're going to comment down below saying it was worth it i shouldn't have listened to you or whatever but the majority of you guys are going to spend a lot of your hard-earned coins on candy that you're not going to, be able to redeem or that you're not going to get good stuff out of and it's going to be a waste that's why gambling's bad so i gambled i did my gambling video you guys saw it I don't think it's worth it personally for me guys i'm more excited for things like the golden ticket promo i'd rather use my actual saved coins from candy and go on ahead and buy myself an actual greatest player in madden 
that's kind of my take on it i don't think i'm gonna be going all in on eggs i did my i did my part i want to give it a test because i did miss out on the christmas promo in this in that sense but will there be great rewards yeah people are going to be getting some great rewards people are making coins but is it worth spending everything on that i like i did i'd recommend you, you dip a toe in you do a few you test it out i don't think you go all in that's just my consensus guys thanks so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy today's video it's kind of a rant slash how to get some candy where you got to be getting it from and kind of my overall is it worth the promo but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you're new to the channel subscribe turn on the bell boys come join the family as usual and make sure to comment down below if you guys have anything to add to this i'd love to hear some of your candy takes and takes and grand eggs but guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy i'm out peace